These are five of the most popular jarred sauces on the market. And today we're gonna to answer the question you have, are any of them worth buying compared to making your own super easy quick sauce? So a little ground rules, James and I don't know what any brands are. Tara picked up 12 different jars. She's gonna select five and we're gonna put construction paper over them. Real scientific. This is number one. James, what do you smell here? It smells like there's like a ton of seasoning. Seasoning? All right, yeah. let's try it. And you don't have to finish it all, James, on each one. After that spoonful, you really get the idea of this sauce. So guys, we're rating this out of 10. James is gonna pick first, just so I'm not influenced. James, zero being horrible, 10 being amazing. What do you think this sauce gets? A four and a half, because like, it's like way over seasoned. James is good, um, but James is being generous with this rating here. I'm giving this a two. Honestly, I shouldn't even be giving it a two. What is it uh, like about it that you're giving it a two? You know, we can look at the ingredients after. There's a ton of sugar in there. There is a ton of like just sweetness, like sweet dried basil in there. Chill out. <laughs> I'm going a little too aggressive. Oh God, I imagine that this is the best one. I'm confident that there will be a couple better ones. Yeah. We're going to say how much these cost because that will be a factor, guys. Like if like this one that I don't think is good is a third of the price of, say, the really good one, that'll also add into the calculation of it. It's definitely better than the last one. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this one. Zero to 10. I don't know. I think it gets a... Six and... We're judging jarred sauce here. So it's not like I'm judging this versus like, you know, like my homemade sauce or oh, anything like that. Oh, I thought we like were. That. No, we're just judging oh, jarred could I sauce. Give it, could I give it like a higher rating then? We'll, we'll let him change it? Yeah. 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 I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to give it a nine as well. And, uh, you know, uh, to be honest with you, if this was the last one and it was the best, I'd probably give it a 10. This is really good. Tara, this does not taste anything like jarred sauce that I am aware of. No, I just think it tastes like a... Fresh all of tomatoes. these sauces are all marinara sauces. Okay, this is excellent. So yeah, um, let's go on. Let's go on to the next one. All right, I'm excited for this one too. This is the most fun I've had making a video since I've started YouTube. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not lying. I really. I really mean it. You know what? I'm gonna let James score it first before I say anything. I don't really like it, but I don't like it either. I don't know if I just like. <laughs> what, what does it get, James? Zero to ten. Like a two and a half. Can I say why? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't have like the right consistency. It's almost like it's like, and usually I like creamy stuff, but this is like a weird kind of creamy. It's like. It, like there might be a little bit of um you know a lot of like fat in there like extra yeah. oils but that's not my criticism of it don't what else like, is wrong with it like the aftertaste of it i don't know what's in it but like at first it tasted like just like a regular jarred sauce but then it tasted like really weird after doesn't it taste sweet though to you it tastes yeah extreme. it like it almost just tastes like they added like they just like dump like tomatoes in there most of them put like like pepper, salt, like oregano, like a bunch of stuff. And then they just like got a can of sugar and then they just yeah. dumped it all in there. This one gets a two and a half. It gets a little bit better than the first one because the first one was even worse because the first one had a massive amount of dried basil in it. Let's move on to the next one. Number four is up. It looks not bad, but who knows? That's what I said about the last one though. <laughs> I have something to say, but I'm gonna wait. Like, this one I'm a little conflicted with. Yeah, they just did one thing and it actually be good. I don't think it's bad. I mean, so what What do they need? What, what is that one thing? What's wrong with it, James? I'm gonna give this a five right in the middle. Cause it's one thing to highly boost up the rain. What? It is extremely salty. So you're gonna give it a five? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it regardless of, of the saltiness, and I'm not sure if it's overly salty compared to the other ones. I'm gonna give this a seven. This is substantially better than the two really, the ones that we really gave Actually, low yeah, ratings we, to. I, I agree, 
And that's why I think it's kind of unfair that I'm giving this a five and the and the first one got four and a half. But like, there's nothing I can really do about it because I think this is like right in the middle. Maybe a six. I'm gonna let him do that. I do think this isn't isn't bad. So I'm gonna give a seven. This is the last one. I'm actually really looking forward to the reveal after this. Yeah, I have a, I have a feeling that this one is either gonna be like really good or like really bad, like like a 10 or like a one. Yeah. I can already smell it and it smells like a lot of spices. I think it's really bad. <laughs> I think you're right. Well, I, I know you're right. I don't need to taste it again, really. Yeah. Um, so James, why is it bad? I don't even know if there's any tomatoes in this. I think it's just like red food coloring and like basil and red. <laughs> there's definitely tomatoes in there. But I don't even taste a single tomato. I I'm giving this a one. That's harsh. I'm not gonna give it a one. I'm actually gonna give this a three. I do think it is a tiny bit better than the two, the one I gave a two and a two and a half to. Unfortunately, this one, like those other two, they're all the same. They're like, it's almost like the master mixologist of is like working moonlighting for the other two companies. They're like, I don't really taste any difference, Tara. They're very, very similar, which is odd because the other two are completely different. This one also has the dried basil taste to it. It has a lot of sweetness. Basically, the three that I rated the lowest have a ton of sweetness in there. To me, anyway. Do you, you agree, right? It's time for the reveal, guys. So we'll do number one first. We'll start there. So just to recap, James, you rated this one a four and a half. And Jim, you rated this one a two. <laughs> two. So this was my lowest rating, right? This was your lowest right. rating. James, what is it? Let's see. I did not expect that. I didn't even know you were buying this one. That is Whole Foods 365 brand. I'm actually surprised that like it like tastes that like sweet. Or, like, so this is number one again, guys. Whole Foods. I'm uh, that perplexing. Yeah, especially since like non-GMO, like low fat, vegan. This one actually came in at a very good price point. This one was $2.69. Wow. There's that's... no sugar added. Organic diced tomatoes, uh, tomato juice, organic tomato puree, organic tomato paste, organic garlic, organic garlic water, organic or extra virgin olive oil, onion, salt, organic garlic, organic basil, organic oregano, organic black pepper. A lot of organic stuff in here. Um, Could I just said organic at the beginning. Total sugars, four grams. Um, you know, the sweetness, honestly, I'm tasting is the basil. Dried basil, which is why I don't use it in any of my, uh, I don't use it for any dish, like full stop. I will never use it. Italian seasoning, that stuff they sell in the stores, never. I, I always, I mean, I, I've said it in videos. I say throw it in the garbage because that has dried basil in it and it's not good. It will ruin all of your food. Tara tasted these too. Tara, did you think this one was good or, or did you agree with like the low rating? I was thinking that it might be good, but it's, I wasn't a fan. He's so artificial. So James, what did you just say? This is gonna be a very, what, very easy video to edit. James has an idea of how these videos, well, to take and these videos are a lot easier to make than obviously the, the other videos that we do. I hope you guys like this and uh, we'll do more of them if you do. So please let us know in the comments if you like them, okay? All right, number two. James, you gave this one a nine, and Jim, you also gave this one a nine. So this brand was the most highly rated. Pull it off. Brand. What is that? Oh, Victoria. What's Victoria? So Victoria is oh, a high- is that the one that everyone is talking about? No, it's not. I don't know, but it is a higher, it is a higher end brand. It is, $8.49. I'm surprised. Uh, not that I not that I thought Victoria was bad at all. I never. This one is gonna be the one that everybody's talking about. I forgot the name of it. Oh. Well, you'll know you'll know when we get to it, okay? Let's let's give a little suspense here, okay? Guys, I got nothing bad to say about this one. This is an, oh, and look at the ingredients here. This is another thing. Versus this one had about 28 ingredients. This has whole tomatoes and juice, onion, olive oil, sea salt, garlic, basil, and spices. It says basil. It doesn't say dried basil, okay? I think that's a big distinction. Essentially, the ingredients in here, James, this is exactly what I put in my sauce. This tastes remarkably close. Yeah, no, because I just tried your sauce earlier, like the spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. It's like almost, like, if you gave me that and that, I like would barely 
be able to tell the difference. Let's go to number three right now. James, you rate it number three a two and a half, and Jim, you also rate it number three a two and a half. Okay, James, pull it off. Francesco Rinaldi. Oh, I didn't know what Tara bought either. Yeah. Back in the 80s when we were kids, I think Francesco Rinaldi must have had really good marketing because I remember growing up thinking Francesco Rinaldi was like the, you know, the epitome of It's like Bola, Italian I Bola cuisine. red wine marketing. Yeah, Same yeah. Thing, right? So I just remember thinking that and thinking it was like the best, but it must have been the commercials. And this one also came in at $2.49, making it very affordable. Tomato puree, water tomato paste, citric acid, diced tomatoes, and tomato juice. Sugar, salt. Sugar's the meat, in, in, that's not even the bottom ingredient. That means there's a lot of sugar in it. Citric acid. That's like sour. Citric acid is the actual what you do when you when you can your own tomatoes. You add it to your tomatoes oh. so that they are preserved. There's actually no dried basil in this. Yeah. Let's move on. I mean, I don't I don't know if we should linger on that. Um, Tara, what's the what's the next one? Okay, so number four, James, you rated this one a six, and Jim, you rated this one a seven. Rayos. Is this Rayos. the one you were talking about? I don't think so. Okay. That's the one I really so Rayos. This says very good marketing. This company. They're like everywhere. People are always talking about it. Rayo's costs $8.19 for the jar. So it's expensive too then. Yeah. If, if you were to buy Rayo's, like buy this instead, because they're like pretty much the same price and this is like way better. It's, I don't know if it's way better. It's def, it, to me, it's definitely better. Yeah, and the ingredients in Rayo's, uh, whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, oregano. So exact not same, basil. exact same ingredients as the Victoria I one. I wonder why this one is like. They're sim They're very similar, yeah. I think. Oh, what What about the last okay. one? James, you rated this one a one. <laughs> Jim, you rated this one a three. Okay, I'm pulling it off. All right, what is this? Oh. Newman's own. Now this the Newman's products have been around forever. For my whole life, I always remember like my mom buying the Newman's salad dressings, and she never bought the sauce. We weren't allowed to have jarred sauce when I was a kid. My mom, my mother, my grandmother lived with us. If you watch the channel, you know my grandmother. You know we had the upstairs downstairs kitchen, and she would always cook the sauce for us, the meatballs, the brajol, everything. And she, um, it was like sacrilege to ever buy jarred sauce. Plus you didn't have the selection back then that you do now. The only time I ever got to experience jarred sauce was in the in the school cafeteria. And I actually kind of liked it because it was super sweet and mush, the pasta was mushy and the meatballs would bounce like eight feet in the air. And it was just like, it was just like a completely different experience. Okay, so this one has no sugar added. The ingredients are tomato puree, water, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, and tomato juice, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, onion, basil, garlic, citric acid, black pepper, fennel seed. Fennel, fennel seed can go in sauce. I mean, it shouldn't really. So I, you know, people now I will- I want to bend one of People will put it in now because they're trying to be like fancy, but normally if you get fennel sausage, that's enough. You don't have to add fennel seed to, to your sauce. Um, you don't want to overpower it with that. So Newman's own was middle of the road as far as pricing goes. It was $3.39. And I'll give them a pass because 100% of their profits go to yeah. children according so to the label. I feel bad, like I wasn't singling out these companies and I truly didn't know which, which sauce was which. I was going under the assumption that the expensive ones were gonna be the better ones because it's a supply and demand thing. You know, if the company has is popular, and again, Rayo's has way better marketing than Victoria does. You never really see anybody saying like, Victoria's the best. You go on Facebook and people are literally fighting each other about, you know, like, sh or showing off that they bought a case of Rayo's, you know, at like Marshall's when it was like disc discounted. <laughs> like, so, Rayo's is $8, so that means you get 24 ounces of sauce that's made. So now, think of, I'm just gonna just break it down for you guys. During the week, this is great. This will this will hit one pound of pasta perfectly. Because normally with a pound of pasta, you need about two and a half cups to three cups of sauce. This is exactly three cups. I would, I would definitely recommend um, either one of these two. James, do you agree with that? Yeah. I think, I think these two are the best. Yeah, I if I made a sauce like this, I would be very proud of myself. 
This is very hard to distinguish. Right, James? Yeah. Yep. I give a partner. Yep. So, Victoria, give me a call. 